Come on, Andy. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Time for wakey wakey. Oh. So we got a whole new day in Florida. Mm. <laughs> Animal Kingdom J Dog. I know. Banshees. Who's excited? I'm excited. Really can't I've already seen like the one of the rides, not the Banshee one, but the the river one. Yeah. But you haven't seen no. the main ride. No, I've tried to avoid it. So excited but to go on this. We've got quite a few good fast passes for this like, throughout the holiday. Yeah. So we're quite lucky. Yeah. Just to tell you in Pandora. Yeah. Um they don't have like signs to places. They have like little like monuments and stuff. Oh right. Kind of. So, pardon darling. What's the park tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to SeaWorld. Okay. Yeah, see Shamu.
There's a new aerial topper that Disney have just bought out. It's great. Use arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving. And supervise your. Is this the security queue? Oh my god. This is busy. This is one monster of a queue to try and get into the park. So we're through the main turnstiles, but we have to scan our magic bands again to get into the extra magic hours. Somebody's excited! Is that a candle? It is! There's the tree of life! Oh. Enjoy your trip? Yeah. <laughs> There it is now! Yeah. Where are we going? Down the ship? Or... Yeah. I like the way Granny and Granddad are dressed as if they're going on a safari today. Bye. So anyone that watched our last videos would know that Josh has a very nasty habit of walking in front of you and then slowing right down almost to a stop and completely cutting you up as you walk around the park. Okay, and two years later, he's still not up? grown out of it. <laughs> In fact, I would say it's slightly worse now. <gasps> My friends! Friends! Dino Land USA. People may think we're mad, everyone else is going to Pandora. But we have fast passes for the rest of the holiday, so we're going on dinosaur instead. Yeah. Everest! Wasn't there a massive park around? There is, darling, you're right. You remembered from two years ago. Can we go in it while we're We will one day, but not for extra magic hours. Nemo! He is a biggie. Yeah. Yes, we all. That's real. It's Nanny Sue. Hi, Nanny Sue. No, that's not Nanny Sue, Mama. Nanny Sue. No. We need to wait for them. Nanny! Is that Nanny? You cheeky little monkey. Oh, that's you, Sam. Look at the eyes. Like, Dinosaur eye. Five minute queue. I think we're the first people, are we? <laughs> In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. How does that make sense? Hello there. <sighs> Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. And how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. 
It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon. And I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. What are we gonna be ninjas?
<laughs> it's not as bad as I remember. I liked it, I think. I don't know what I want to go. Really? <laughs> yeah, I think Sam really likes it. No more triceratops spin for Sammy. No. <laughs> he wants the big ray. There's us filming us, filming them, filming us. <laughs> Shivering and Sam looks after me. Thank you. I was scared. Excellent. Well, out Don't you Sam, were you scared you of the either? spiders? He wasn't. No? Was it scared at all? I think it was shut, wasn't it? Yeah.
using our magic van to get into our fast pass for Kilimanjaro Safari. <laughs> Caraboni means welcome, so Caraboni to the single one, friends. Let all the way in, make sure you're going to this round one. If you have a little one, they can go on your lap or next to you. Just make sure they remain sure? seated at all times. Sammy, so you, you so sure you don't want to go on the edge? Yeah. Once we start, you can't stand up, you can't move. Yeah, all those animals are the ones. Yeah, we're going to look for all of those animals, so the Sammy. First one. What's you tell us if you see one? any of them. These animals can weigh 3,000 pounds and charge up to 35 miles per hour. However, there's less than 5,000 of them in the world. The greater kudus, antelopes. Penguinos are female greater kudus because they don't have any horns. So called a bloat. Now next to the bloat of hippos, you will find the pink bad pelicans in the meadow islands on your left. Show their pink side, you know it's mating season. Yes. And we're getting close to the Nile crocodiles. As a reminder, please remain seated because these reptiles are really, really strong. They can catch a prey twice their size. And here they are on your left, the Nile crocodiles. Now if you ever find these reptiles with their mouth open, it's because they're ectothermal. They have cold blood. And the only way they can release body heat is by opening their mouth. The giraffes, the wildebeest in the middle, and the Ancoli cattles. They look like cows with really long horns. They can grow them up to four feet long. And the springboks, sorry, call this way because when they get frightened, they tend to spring up and down. Call the painted dogs because of their unique markings. And these dogs do not bark. The vocalization sounds like a squeaky toy. It's just saliva and dung. Sounds a little strange, I understand. But elephants love to use them as scratch. Animals have really good eyesight of their surroundings. That combining it with their height, they have the ability to see predators that hide in really tall grass. Now the ones that you will find in this reserve belong to the Maasai family. That's because their patterns are jagged. And they also have little pouches inside their cheeks where they store snacks for later. Wish I wish I had two. And as giants, they can eat a lot of food. About 300 pounds. Now do you friends know how we can tell that is an African elephant? The ears, the size of their ears, a lot bigger than the Asian elephant's ears. And it's scary, please remain seated. But it's a perfect time to tell you guys the story of my life. So when I was a little kid growing up, <laughs> and I still don't like broccoli. Oh look at that, we made it. Hakuna <laughs> Matata means no worries. For the rest of your Thanks for a big happy family. Look at it. There's an adult elephant and a little baby girl. She was born about five months ago in the reserve and we're really happy. Happy because about 92 elephants get poached in a single day in the wild. That's why we want to protect them as much as we can. And there she is. Can the last row see? That's a yes. Yeah. yeah. Now another animal we cannot live without 
the flamingos, the greater flamingos. flamingos. And they also had babies about a month ago. The little gray birds in the corner, corner of the island, those are baby flamingos. They are also called the greater flamingos because they are the lightest shade of pink flamingos. What? Oh my god, please don't, don't. So we have the white rhino. Don't look at the tail. And the cheetahs in the back, right there on your Whoa. left, in the corner. <laughs> Yellowish with dark spots. Close to the fence, in the back. The fastest land animal in the world. They can run from 60 to 70 miles per hour. But not for a long time because they lack stamina. They get tired quickly. And they only hunt during daytime. Unlike lions, lions tend to be more nocturnal. And with that, we welcome you friends to the Kobe. The prize is where you can find zone. Simba, which is Swahili for lion. Now the lion should be around here somewhere. King of the beast. The lioness is next to him. Also called the huntress. Because they usually do the hunting while the lions stay back home with the cubs. So you will find all three of them with their eyes wide open. And if you ever hear lions roar, it's so powerful you can hear up to five miles away. Now we're heading towards the east side of the reserve. Oh my god. This is where the ostriches live. The largest birds in the world. They can't fly, but they use your wings to steer themselves because they can run really fast. So I actually thought that I was about to get pooed on by a rhino just then. <laughs> its bum was twitching <laughs> and, and, and its tail was swinging and I thought it was going to poo all over me. Because I was lost. I was cause, very lucky. Because the rhino's butt was right, was literally right in front of the car. Yeah, right in front of our car. Mm-hmm. <laughs>